first of all is the expectations with the private equity owners, trying to get a view with the owners as to value. Um, in addition to that, uh, the management team need to control the projections, the forward projections of the uh, business. It has to be theirs, they're held account to it later. There's some um, pressure that's put to bear sometimes from the owners, it's important that management resist that pressure. Then within the organisation, first of all get everything ready, so get all of the data room prepared, know where all the skeletons are in the cupboard, be ready to be able to manage that progress process rather, so that you absolutely know the answers to the questions. And then a clear delineation of the management team between those individuals who are typically the CEO and the CFO who will be involved in the sale process and those in the management team who are continuing to, if you like, run the business. There is nothing worse in a sale process than the numbers coming off or not meeting expectation. That is absolutely crucial to the process. In terms of the management influence on the process, First of all, value. If you ever are behind the scenes in a private equity house, you'll realise that half of the discussion is how good the management team are and can they be trusted going forward. So clearly the management team have a huge amount of, um, a huge amount in the value of the business. Um, possibly as much as the forward projections or the current uh, EBITDA or revenue of the business. In addition to that, the management can absolutely influence where the business will end up. So it's important for the management team to have a good cultural fit by getting around some of the potential buyers of the business, sort of influencing them behind the scenes or even up front in front of the, uh, in the formal process to really try and identify the best owner for the business because typically the best owner of the business will also pay the best price. Thank you.